Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about division restoring algorithm. We are students of first year division G group 10 of Vishwakarma Institute of Technology Pune. So let's begin. So firstly we will discuss about the contents of this video. In the first part we will discuss about the introduction to this topic. Secondly we will discuss about its importance. Furthermore we will discover the division restoring algorithm for unsigned integers. After that we will see the flow chart for this algorithm nextly we will discuss about the implementation of this algorithm afterwards we will see the advantages and disadvantages and last but not the least we will discuss about the conclusions let me introduce you to the restoring division algorithm the division restoring algorithm is a method of performing division in computer programming it involves registers shifting their values subtracting the divisor and restoring register values this algorithm is used to obtain the quotient and remainder of a division operation let us look at the importance of the restoring division algorithm the algorithm is important as it ensures precise and accurate division which minimizes errors in calculations it is extremely efficient which saves time and resources in computer programming Therefore it is widely used in programming languages and software applications which makes it important to understand for efficient programming a division restoring algorithm for unsigned integer in the division restoring algorithm restoring refers to the process of reverting the value of register a to its previous state after each iteration this restoration is necessary to maintain the accuracy and ensure the correct division results in this algorithm q represents the quotient A represents the remainder. We begin with both the registers set to zero. During each iterations, the algorithm performs division operations, and the value of register A is restored. This restoration ensures accurate division computations. To sum it up, the restoring division algorithm uses register Q and A, with A being restored after each iteration. This process guarantees precise quotient and remainder calculations. So now let's go through the flow chart of division restoring algorithm. So here is the flow chart for division restoring algorithm. The flow chart shows the working of the algorithm about the initialization, conditional statements and about the ending. Let's understand it step by step. So let's see the steps in detail. Step 1 initialize registers. Register A is equals to 0. m is divisor q is dividend n is number of bits in dividend step 2 in this step register a and register q will be treated as a single unit and the value of both the register will be shifted left step 3 after that the value of register m will be subtracted from register a the result of subtraction will be stored in register a step 4 check msb of a here msb is most significant bit if 0 set lsb of q to 1 if 1 set lsb of q to 0 and restore a to previous value note here lsb is least significant bit step 5 after that the value of n will be decremented here n is used as a counter step 6 now if the value of n is 0 we will break the loop otherwise we have to again go to the step 2 step 7 this is the last step in this steps the quotient is contained in the register q and the remainder is contained in register a we will now move towards an interesting example based on restoring division technique if you observe we have been given with 11 divided by 3 dividend is referred as q whereas divisor is referred as m in restoring division we need to convert the divisor and dividend in binary representation 11 in binary is 1011 whereas 3 in binary is 0011 the number of bits of dividend equals to the number of steps to be performed while doing the restoring division as the dividend is 4 bit long n is equal to 4 the size of the accumulator is 1 bit greater as compared to the dividend at the beginning the accumulator is initialized to 0 in the next step the content of register a and q is shifted left as if they are a single unit then 
the content of register M is subtracted from A and result is stored in A. Now, the most significant bit of A is checked. If it is 1, the least significant bit of Q is set to 0 and the value of register A is restored. The value of counter N is decremented. As the value of N is not 0, the loop In will the continue. Next step, the content of register A and Q is shifted left as if they are a single unit. Then, the content of register M is subtracted from A and result is stored in A. Now, the most significant bit of A is checked. If it is 1, the least significant bit of Q is set to 0 and the value of register in the next step, the content of register A and Q is shifted left as if they are a single unit. Then, the content of register M is subtracted from A and result is stored in A. Then, the most significant bit of A is checked. If it is 0, the least significant bit of Q is set to 1. The value of count. In the next step, the content of register A and Q is shifted left as if they are a single unit. Then, the content of register M is subtracted from A and result is stored in A. Then, the most significant bit of A is checked. If it is 0, the least significant bit of Q is set to 1. The value of counter N is decremented. Since the value of N becomes 0, we get out of the loop. Finally, the register Q contains the quotient and A contains the remainder. The quotient in binary is 0011 which is equal to 3 in decimal whereas the remainder is 0010 which is 2 in decimal. Advantages of Division Restoring Algorithm It is simple and easy to implement algorithm for division. It can handle both signed and unsigned integers. It uses only basic arithmetic operations such as subtraction and shifting. The disadvantages of Division Restoring Algorithm The algorithm is relatively slow and requires multiple iterations to arrive at the quotient and reminder. It is not as sufficient as other division algorithms such as SRD division algorithm. The algorithm is not suitable for use with hardware based circuit due to its iterative nature. So here comes the conclusion part. There are three main conclusions. The first one is the division restoring algorithm is used to perform division of two integers. The second one is, it was the one of the earliest algorithm used in computer programming for division. And the last is, algorithm involves initializing registers, shifting their values and restoring values at each iteration to arrive at the quotient and remainder. So here, we would like to end our presentation. Thank you all of you for your support. And the most important thing, please do like, share and subscribe.